All right. So I've got the new uh, latest Windows 10 Developer Insider preview. It's currently July 31st, so this will be released to the public in two days. And we are going to try to use the new bash that comes with Windows 10 to destroy it. So let's see if we can do that first. Let's try running this as administrator. Yes. So right now we should be in our home directory. So let's just try going uh, to the root directory. So here we've got basically uh, full Linux because this is a whole entire Ubuntu subsystem onto Linux. Um, but I don't think it's going to let us delete this stuff. Uh, let's just try sudo so remove recursive this. Type in my password. It is dangerous to operate recursively. Use no preserve root to override this fail safe. All right, let's try using that. Our no preserve root. Oops, daisy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see if it will delete everything now. Pseudo command not found. And okay, let's try uh, just deleting the C drive. So the C drive is kept in the mount folder. As you can see, there's the C drive. So we will go into this. Oops, into the C drive. And here we've got all of our lovely Windows files. And let's try deleting this. RM recursive, or actually sudo RM recursive current directory. Cannot remove. Um, let's try. So it's giving us a bunch of permission denied um, errors, it looks like. Uh, but let's just see, you know, what it will actually delete. Because right now, it, we've got Bash, uh, which is actually a, a Ubuntu subsystem installed in uh, Windows, going through and trying to delete every single file that's on the C drive. Uh, it looks like it did something there to the desktop background, so it's it's clearly doing something. Um, so you know, let's let's see if we can destroy Windows with this. I have a feeling we probably can't, uh, but you know, uh, you never know. Like for example, you can actually destroy a uh, Mac. OS using this command still, which is very surprising. Usually Apple kind of has their stuff locked down, but you can still destroy a Mac just by typing in one command. It's <laughs> kind of funny. So let's see if you can destroy Windows by typing in one command. Uh, this could be a while. Let's see, let's see, you know, what's working. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay, there we go. So the start menu still works. Let's see if the news app still works. Nope, the news app does not work anymore. All right. Um, about the Windows Store. The Windows Store does. Oh, 
Are you gonna work? Are you gonna work? Let's see. Um, nope, the Windows Store also does not work. So right now it's going through the windows.old directory, um, which actually shouldn't affect anything to do with this current installation. That's just where it keeps all the programs and such from whatever Windows installation you upgraded from. Which is actually very bizarre that it has that since I created this uh, virtual box install from a, a fresh ISO of Windows 10, so I'm not sure why there's a windows.old directory, but I'm sure there must be some reason. Maybe that's from when I downloaded the Insider Preview and it updated the PC. It created the windows.old directory in case something went wrong so it can fall back to before the update. Oh, it's done. All right. So let's, um, let's try to reboot the machine. Restart. Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's just try restarting the machine and let's see if it boots up. Ah, restarting. <clears throat> let's see if we destroyed Windows enough to get it not to boot. Okay, there's, we've got the virtual box, and we've got your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart what well, it was restarting. Uh, well, that's new. They give you a QR code now. Actually, I could scan that. Let's see if I can scan that on my smartphone and see what that QR code says before it makes it go away. What do you say, Mr. QR code? Oh, no, it went away. Well, if you're watching on the YouTube video, you can take a look at the QR code. Well, and it looks like we did. It looks like we were able to successfully um, pretty much destroy Windows then. Uh, let's just wait one more time and see if it's able to boot up. Oh, preparing automatic repair. So yeah, we were able to pretty much destroy Windows using the bash uh, shell uh, within Windows, which will be available um, on August 2nd, 2016. So yeah, uh, cool. Don't try this on your actual computer, obviously, but it's just good to know that you can destroy Windows.